it was weird seeing Knock Knock get this big. But Knock Knock, when I first dropped Knock Knock, it actually had like really like amazing potential. But it just didn't reach reach that potential until like a year later. So it's just like amazing to like see what's going on now with the song. Just you know what I'm saying? Because like we always had faith in Knock Knock, but like now it's like really it's time. The making of Knock Knock was really like. Um, one day I just FaceTimed Tekka and we we're just going through these beats. He already, he already had told me that he messed with my music. He was already listening to my music like way back, like a year, a year ago. So like, we just got on FaceTime. He played me some beats. I heard the knock, knock beat. And I was like, bro, I was like, this is the one. And at the time, like when I was doing my SoundCloud rapping and everything, I was recording off of GarageBand on Mac computer. So I just uploaded the beat on there. At first I couldn't really like think of the hook. Like it took me some time and then like it really clicked and I was just like, huh, knock, knock, who's there at the, it just came together. Everything just came together. That was just a complete freestyle off of the top of my head. I didn't, I don't usually like write my lyrics at all. Everything like that I've put out, everything's come off the top of my head. I just recently started like getting into like writing music and like putting things together like that. Like trying to make my music more like complex. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. Nina, uh huh, uh, yeah, na, 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 wa, wa, na, 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 wa, wa, let's go, Fega. Basically, the intro was just like on some, you know what I'm saying, flowing into it, getting into it, like leading up into the into the knock knock part, the hook. You feel what I'm saying? Like everybody knows, like all my fans know me by my my uh, ad lib, let's go, Fago. So you know what I'm saying? I had to throw that in there too. Knock, knock, who's there at the door right now? Uh, they like, if you don't open that hole, we gon' kick it down. Uh, I had to grab my fire. I, I told him step inside. I, when I came around that corner, that boy almost cried. I, my main objective with the Knock Knock song was really to like come up with a story in the hook. It was based on a real life experience, but you know what I'm saying? That's... In the past, we on we on this new, you know what I'm saying? This new new lifestyle, new level. You feel what I'm saying? No, I promise I'm not about to play. Yeah, young nigga trying to stack up his cake. Yeah, Benny Hanna, baby, that's my kind of date. Yeah, ex wanna love me, but it's too late now. I've never been the type of person that that's been into drama. You know what I'm saying? I always stay focused on like what I gotta do, and I I can see my vision like really clear and like where I want to end up in life. That part was actually based on an old relationship of mine. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like everything that's been going on so far, you know, like X is going to be calling, you know what I'm saying? Hit my phone. I da 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 da, you know what I'm saying? Hey stranger. <laughs> Sorry little mama, I cannot save ya. Once I did, tried to change ya. You tried to shoot me in the heart with lasers. That turned me into a hell razor. That just meant like, you know what I'm saying? You just try to take my heart and you try to break it. And like, you know what I'm saying? That just turned me into a monster. All my fans know like, I, I use everything that I've been through like, and put it in my songs. That's why they like, they connect with my songs so well because I really like speak about things that I've actually like, felt and, and been through in my life. I'm trying to rack up and skirt in a Tesla. I don't got a Tesla right now, but hey, it's coming. Baby on my dick, she say, Fago, you next up. That little nigga reckless, run me a little check up. Niggas trying to be cool, cause that be by my nigga tech up. It was bad, bro. Like so many people that didn't like really like mess with my music started messing with it only because like, you know what I'm saying? Tekka was there in the picture, but like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. People gonna be like that. You know what I'm saying they turn into fans later. They ain't worried about it. <laughs> no, I don't wanna have to stretch it. She gonna flirt in front of her nigga. She like Fago, you getting bigger. I remember when you was a little nigga. When people started really paying attention to me, when I started seeing like the industry was like really like picking up on like who I was and like my sound and everything. I was like, yeah, now I'm now I'm getting somewhere in this shit. Now I'm like really like. Now I'm making some moves. Now I'm putting some dents in certain areas so I can, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm going somewhere. Anybody can be in this position right now, bro. You just gotta believe in yourself and you really just gotta see it and go get it. My niggas got stripes like that, boy, Tigger. No, you don't be pulling no triggers. Don't wanna have the blick up on nobody. Nobody niggas steady wanna try me. The image is cool, you know what I'm saying? But like in real life, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, hey, totally different person in real life, so. Don't get the image messed up, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool and everything, but hey. I'm protected. <laughs> I'm like la di da di da di da di. I knew Shorty was a thotty. Take off in a mozzie. Counting this guap like I hit the lottery. I was just feeling the part, how the beat switched on that part. And I was just feeling like, maybe I should put like a little, like something catchy right here. So like, you know what I'm saying? I put, I threw that in there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know about, everybody know about the thotties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they come and they go. You feel what I'm saying? So. Hey. Wait a minute, stay quiet, please. You said that you will ride for me. Now that you see me glow up, you don't hold up. Now you down for me, yeah. That was definitely a message to all the people that doubted me. You know what I'm saying? When I was coming up, didn't believe in the process, and now they see me doing everything that I'm doing right now, and it's they looking at it and like, wow, like you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know he was gonna be right here in in front of our faces. You feel what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is now. <laughs> A lot of the music that I'm putting out now, what I want my fans to take away from that is just everything that I'm talking about in my songs, I just want them to pick it up. I just want them to feel like, feel where I'm coming from. You feel what I'm saying? And just let it take control of them, take control of their body. That's what my music is all about. It's all about magical, you know what I'm saying? My music's magical, it's wavy. Just let it take control of your body and just, just space out.